good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod AM Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a two-in-one UFC action figure review, and I know you're seeing three figures in front of you, but we have already reviewed this Conor McGregor Series 1 figure, guys, so the Ultimate Series Conor McGregor is back on the channel if you guys want to check that video out. But today, we have two more figures from Jazzwares. This video is sponsored by Jazzwares, so a huge shout-out to Jazzwares for making this video possible and sending these figures our way. Very much appreciated. Today, guys, we do have Max Holloway, and we also have Cowboy. Boy Donald Cerrone in the house looking pretty good. I'm actually very impressed with these figures because I've already reviewed Conor McGregor and I know how great they already are. And this series is actually very, very unique because this Ultimate Series, Ultimate Series number one, it is going to be limited edition and the official Series 1 will launch in spring 2021 with a whole new lineup and whole new look. I think the, the scale of these figures is actually going to be increased and they're going to change these figures up, guys. So if you go to your Walmarts and they have these figures, you may want to get your hands on them because they are going to be in limited quality. They are limited edition, and they're going to be completely changed moving forward from Jazzware. So, these figures look great. I know they look excellent, guys. So, let's go ahead and dive into the packaging, guys. In the front, you do have Max Holloway right here. Front viewing window, you get your accessory stuff down here. We've already covered on the channel that I think there's like 30 UFC logos on this entire packaging. I was joking around with my buddy the other day. We counted all of it. If you count, like, the logos on air, like the trunks and the little stickers, and you count the gloves and the trunks and everything, it's like a total of, like, 30 logos or something like that. But here's a front viewing window. On the side, you do have a picture of Max. On the back, you do get another photo of Max. Over here, we do get a little bio read. If you would like to read it, you can pause it now. You have the rest of the figures in the wave. On this side, you have UFC and Max Holloway, and that does it for that one. And then over here for Cerrone, you have the front viewing window. On the side, you do have a picture of him. Another bio read here. You also have the rest of the figures in the wave. Text on this side, and that pretty much does it for your packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack. I guess I'm going to open all three of them, right? I mean, we're not going to review McGregor here today, but I can go ahead and crack all three of them out of their packaging. So here is Max Holloway and Cerrone out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty John Brown swell, I might say. Now, I know from experience that the Conor McGregor figure was already fantastic. That is why, again, I'm not reviewing it because I already have on the channel. So if you guys missed that out, definitely go check that out. If you guys already are impressed with these figures and you'd like to pick them up yourselves, they are available on Amazon and at Walmart. I've seen them at retail many, many times, and I have not tracked down the full wave yet. I think I'm missing two or three figures from the wave, but I am definitely going to pick up the rest of the wave because I am impressed with it, and I'm not even a, I'm not a huge UFC guy. I'll, I'll check out fights here and there if it interests me and, you know, some of my favorite fighters are fighting. But I want to start my own little UFC display because Jazzwares knocked these out of the park so much. So let's go ahead and rotate the camera upwards a little bit. And you guys know how my reviews work. Typically, we dive into one character's accessories and then that character themselves. And then we run it back and take a closer look at the other character's accessories and then that second character. So that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into Holloway's accessories and then Holloway. And then we'll run it back and get into Cerrone's accessories and Cowboy himself. So for Holloway's accessories, guys, you do get a bit of things, which is always nice. Every UFC figure that I've seen so far in this Ultimate Series has came with a flag. And specifically with Holloway, he does come with a U.S. flag. I know you're thinking that's not a U.S. flag. It actually is, Brad. This is the state flag of Hawaii, which is where Holloway is from. So this is very nice. I think it's clean cut. It has a nice stretch to it. It feels good in the hand. One thing I will say is it's kind of difficult to get into the figure's hands, but I still think it is a very solid accessory. I love that it comes with the flags, especially if you wanted to make like a background setup with all the different flags in the background, I think that'd be really cool. Now for his championship belt, he does come with the UFC featherweight championship, and it doesn't have like any plastic hard plates. It is sort of a solid rubber material, but you guys can see the UFC logo there. It is kind of flimsy there, but it is stretchy and stuff like that. Mine kind of got warped out of the packaging, which I don't think that would happen if the plates were made of plastic, but I still think this is a nice accessory. It's always nice to have title belts, so there's that. You also get interchangeable hands, so each figure does come with two interchangeable hands. So these are his sort of grappling hands or mic holding hands is what we would call them in the wrestling world. You got the UFC on there, nice texture and details on it. And then out of the packaging, he does come with fisted hands. And if you guys want to switch these out, you simply just unplug the fisted hand and you would plug in the grappling hand or whatever you would want to call that. But they're very easily interchangeable, very nice. They fit the figure well and stuff. And then out of the packaging, he comes with two interchangeable head sculpts. You have this face without the headband and then he comes with this face that is screen. 
screaming, which I like more. I like the screaming head sculpt more. I think the eyes are painted more accurately. And then you have the UFC headband on there. So yeah, I, I like this head sculpt better. He just seems a little bit more crazy. Looks like he's going to destroy your family. So that is very nice. And if you want to include the shorts as an accessory, you do have the nice black shorts with the logos all over it. And those are always nice as well. But that pretty much does it for Holloway's accessories, guys. So with that being said, let's dive into Holloway himself. So getting into Holloway himself, guys, I like this head sculpt. You know, we already discussed how well this one looks. I definitely like it in comparison to this head sculpt. It's like he's looking up. So I think if, you know, he's supposed to be looking up, it definitely looks like him and everything like that. I think the, the likeness is definitely there. I think the head shape is good and everything. I just like the expression of the yelling face better. But going down into the rest of the figure, he does have all of his tattoos here, as you guys can see. Highly detailed with the tattoos. He's got them all over his body there. I'm a tattoo guy. I love tattoos. I have a lot of tattoos myself. So seeing this replicated on the figure is always appreciated. I actually have my own wing tattoo like this, but it is on my right arm going down the side there. So me and him have that in common. So all of this detail is nice. You do get the nice double jointed arms, which are always nice. You can punch yourself in the face here. Like the, the Jazz Wears articulation like we get on the AEW figures, like we get on these UFC figures is insane. Like I love all of the articulation you get. You get the ratchet joints in the legs, which is always nice to hear, which again, it kind of sounds scary, but it is still very nice. You get double jointed knees. You get the foot articulation. You also get the ankle pivot. I mean, these figures are just so, I, I, I know with the UFC, you want to say bad A. They're bad A, man. So Holloway's looking good. I like the skin tone on this guy. I think that moving forward, this line is only going to improve. But Holloway looks good, man. If you're a Holloway fan, I think it captures all of the things that you would like in your Holloway figure. Underneath, he does have like these solid gray shorts. But yeah, dude, the, the articulation on these is insane. And it's just super fun to pose around, dude. And they can definitely do any pose that you need them to do. But that pretty much does it for Max Holloway, guys. So let's dive into Cowboy's accessories. So for Cowboy's accessories, guys, what would it be without the great old American flag? We have the American flag. We got Old Glory right here. It looks pretty much just like any other American flag. I like the colors, the navy and the red and white. They did a really good job capturing that. Feels the same as the other flag and it feels nice in the hand. He does also come with two interchangeable head sculpts. Now, the only issue I'm having with these is they are pretty much the exact same. Like one is kind of like a thicker beard and he's looking to the right and then the other one is kind of like a five o'clock shadowish beard and he's looking to the left. Now, I would have liked more expression maybe, but you know, I, I don't know. That's just, I, I don't know. These, these are just very, very similar. The hair may be a tad different. If it is, it's not very noticeable. And I think this head sculpt looks more like Cerrone than this one. But yes, these are interchangeable head sculpts. And then he also comes with fists and the grappling slash mic holding hands as well. So you guys already saw how we interchanged those, but there are the hands. And you gotta, I mean, what would a cowboy be without his signature cowboy hat, right? So if you plug on the hat, there's a little serial number on the bottom of that. But I think the hat does go on this way. Or actually, you can put it on either way you want, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go this way. And that looks pretty good on the figure. I like the way that looks. A cowboy would be nothing without his trusty old hat. But he does not come with a world championship, so that is pretty much it. Except for his shorts, he does have the nice elastic shorts that have the slits on the side that look really good. I like the way that looks. And it even has like the sliding shorts material underneath. So they did a really good job of cutting that and having that fit the figure nice. You love to see it. But that does it for Cerrone's accessories, guys. So let's dive into Cowboy himself. So on to Cowboy himself, guys, like we covered with his other head sculptor in the last segment of the video. The head sculpt is solid. This one's definitely more solid. I think the eyes maybe could be shrunk down a little bit, but I still like it a lot. I like the skin tone we got going on. The butterfly joints are in full effect. Double jointed arms just like Holloway. Doesn't have as many tattoos on his torso, but on the back you do have his nice tattoo on the back here. That looks pretty good. You got Cerrone on the back. You can even see the dog there with the tribal tats coming through. Through. Again, same kind of articulation. His legs aren't near as... Maybe it's just the left leg. It's like the left leg has the super loud ratchet joints, but the right leg doesn't have near as loud. But pretty cool about this figure, guys, is he also has a shin tattoo. So you do have his shin tattoos that say playtime. You got all of this stuff going on on his legs. I love the attention to detail with the tattoos. Great ankle pivot again. Skin tone is on point. Can you imagine if you're entering into a fight with somebody and you look across the octagon and they have playtime written on their shin? like they're about to kick your teeth out of your face. Couldn't be me, Brad. Could not be me. But Cowboy looks good. I'm very impressed with this. I enjoy watching Cowboy fight, so this is this is very nice. I mean, most wins in UFC history. What do you want, Brad? You want to you want to capture your champion in action figure form? This is the way to do so with the Jazz Wears Ultimate Series, Donald Cerrone. So as far as comparisons are concerned, guys, this is usually the part of the video where I would compare these figures to other figures that I have collected from this line, but since my Conor McGregor was turned into a custom and then my other one is not quite out of the packaging just yet. 
it. I'm just going to compare them to each other. You know, as these series come out, this is the first series, so I can't compare them to anything else, but they look good, man. I, I really do like these figures a lot. They're really fun to pose around with. If you guys are UFC fans and you're action figure fans, there's no other There's no other choice, man. The, these are great. These are definitely great. The, the, tight, the joints are very tight. The figures are posed around well. The next series is going to be a lot better, I think, because they're going to be a lot bigger in scale. They'll go in with other lines from other companies, and I think, you know, you can intertwine them and do other things and crazy stuff. I think your photography is going to be on point, but these figures are fantastic, bro. I would highly recommend them. I don't know if they're available at Ringside Collectibles right now, but if they are, you can use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But another huge shout out to Jazzwares for making this video possible, sponsoring this video, and sending both of these figures our way. It is very much appreciated. We thank you so very much. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section below. Subscribe for more epic action figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.